hello everyone hope you guys are having a great day so i would like to start this video with a apology you know because i have not been uploading uh, videos on my new account series uh, you know for like uh, four or five days now uh, but i'm back i'm back with this video so i'm going to cover five days together in this video itself and there have been a lot of changes that have happened in this account in the past uh, five days so let's begin the video with uh, arena over here so right now we have Justice League Batman Arena season going on. Well, he's not the best character, definitely not the best character in the game. Uh, but for me, on this account, he he is going to be helpful because uh, I'm currently using him in the Justice League team until I get Justice League Cyborg. Uh, so he's definitely going to help me out. So I'm going to try to get myself to Elite 4 as uh, quickly as I can. So I still have one day left and I'm on 7.2 million points. Now it's going to take some grinding over here, uh, you know, to get myself to Elite 4. But I'm going to try my best and I'm going to try to get to Elite 4 as quickly as possible. All right, guys. So as far as the store is concerned, I haven't really bought any shards for any of the characters in the past few days. But we're going to do that now. I'm going to buy some shards for Horrific Scarecrow over here. okay here we go here we go once again a hundred and sixty shards nice you know what i have enough for arena medals i might also buy a few shards for speed force the flash all right there we go okay so moving on all right guys so i just wanted to say that if you're new and if you're watching this video for the first time i would like you to subscribe to the channel so that it motivates me to bring you content like this on injustice to mobile so if you enjoy the video give it a like and please do not forget to subscribe so we have this challenge that is currently going on uh cow superman we still have two days left and I have 153 shards right now. I have a lot of uh, gems as well over here. And I'm not sure if I refresh it. I might, uh, I will, you know, in two days, I think I could get around uh, 15 or maybe let, let's let's take uh, 12 shards in a day. So I think in two days, I would get around 20 or 25, 25 shards, uh, which makes it 175, 180 almost. And then I need to get around the 20 shards more. So I think if I refresh it, if I gem refresh this difficulty twice, I might, uh, or twice per day, I might actually unlock a collector of all Superman this season. You know, I'm, 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 you know what? Let's do it right now. Why not? I already have enough uh, simulation chips with me. Let's see how many I get. I mean, how many shards I get. Three. and four that makes it seven okay that's nice okay let's see if i can get seven more three again and three again okay this makes it six all right never mind so moving on moving on let me take you guys into champions arena grid is one of those characters which i i don't think a lot of players play the challenge until un and unless they're a complete beginner so this is my champions arena uh division five again you know division four is actually getting a bit difficult for me with this account so i'm going to stick on division five for a few weeks now uh but right now uh, i am on 49 rank number 49 with 43 points and with five victories over here uh, and I also have uh, three victories on my defensive side, which is definitely great. So the season rewards are going to be tech shards. The season will end in like two days and four hours from here on. Thousand gems and I'll get 30 tech shards. So I'm, I'm currently working on, you know, my new teams. I did work a lot on my Batroom in the Drowned, which I'm going to show you the build uh, in a few minutes. So this is what my Champions Arena looks like. 
all right guys so i'm also going to show you guys the rewards that i got from my previous solo raids and the league raids so let's first take a look let me show you the progress that i've made in the solo raid so this is magic is going on i'm on tier three i still have to play the pips uh you know over here this boss uh, actually survived and i just have to take down 1.78k health i'm gonna waste one pip over here uh so uh yeah my tier through tier two was uh, actually very easy uh, but tier three is gonna be difficult because not these sub bosses but the main boss which is uh, batman uh he's having around 30 million health so obviously i'm gonna try my best to take them down as quickly as i can but these three will be one shots this one too uh but unfortunately i just have a few of the health left on this guy uh but yeah it's, it was fun it was definitely fun and i'm really looking forward to finishing off the solo raids in this season itself uh because i think i can you know i still have a lot of time all right guys now moving on moving on into the inbox let me show you guys the rewards that i've been getting in these past weeks so this is the reward that i got on completing tier 2 captain cold this is the reward uh, that i got after completing the raid i ranked on uh, rank number 7 so 60 level 60 gear for multiverse uh, supergirl or if it's scarecrow and multiverse green arrow this one is actually a good drop this is the reward that i got after completing level one on this is magic okay 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 i think there was there was one more okay raid boss defeated okay i think it should be somewhere over here yeah so i've ranked on rank number four and i got uh the all blades no i think this is an old one but still it's fun to watch because i got level 50 gear for last law of the joker justice league cyborgs gear level 55 the all blades this was this was really good it was definitely one of the best rewards i've uh, received from uh, the league rage all right guys so now let's move on let's move on into the store real quick there we go so we have these uh, artifact material and reforge chest uh, there is a total promotion chest uh, there is a star promotion chest now you know i i, I think if you open this uh, artifact material and reforge chest let's just check what is in there first this is actually good you know because if you're looking forward to get some uh, you know artifact material then this is one way you can do it it's a bit expensive i have to say that and it does have uh, it doesn't you know guarantee you a particular drop for a particular artifact material but it does give you all of them and there are azure artifact as well uh there are reforges as well artifact reforges so i think this is this is going to be good you know if you guys are looking forward to upgrading any of your uh, artifacts then i think this is uh, one of the chests that you can open a total promotion chest and the other one star promotion chest is something that i'm not a big fan of you know because there are a ton of ways to get uh, these orbs and you really don't want to open this chest for credits and uh, these uh, talent re for reforges you get a ton of these from the arena and obviously you can play campaign you can almost get these credits almost everywhere you know uh you know the chances for getting these uh, intergalactic orbs is uh, 1.46 for 3 and 0 0.49 for 5 which is very less you know you you will end up with something like this something like this or maybe even these so i i think you should stay away from this chest you know if you even if you are looking forward to promote one of your characters to seven stars because there are better ways of getting those orbs all right guys now finally let me take you into the roster all right guys there we go let's shatter some duplicate gears over here all right so roster's thread is 
and I have worked a lot in these past five weeks. I've worked a lot on uh, my Batwoman the Drowned. As you can see, there is one piece of gear on level 49. I only have two pieces of gears. That is the problem with this character. Uh, but yeah, whenever the challenge comes in, so there is only one free way of getting these uh, gears, which is the challenge. So I have worked on the uh, stats as well. So if you want me to make a specific build guide for Batwoman the Drowned, I can do that too. Uh, but you know i just need to get all the gears first and then i'll you know make a build guide for that so uh yeah i mean the only character that i've currently worked on in these past three four days is batwoman the ground and there she is it's just yeah there is one amulet of might all right all right so and yes there is one more thing i got the missing piece for last lap the joker at level 50 which is definitely nice and uh i did get a few uh you know a few gears as well like this which i have to apply okay okay there we go, Multiverse Supergirl. I haven't really applied these gears on these characters. Two level 60 gears I have. Okay, <laughs> this is nice. This is going to definitely increase my roster's threat. Alright guys, so that was it. There was Cheetah's gears too. Okay, but this is one of those characters which I probably won't use. There is one level 70 gear, which was definitely a great drop. But unfortunately, not a great character. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then guys, you have a great day. Take care of yourselves, be blessed and stay safe. Have a good one guys. Bye-bye.